were to write a function called power, which accepts a base and an exponent, the function should return the power of the base to the exponent. So what we mean is if we have a function that we've defined here and we call this function with two arguments, one the base and one the power, uh, or one the base and one the exponent, like two and zero, then this should yield um, two to the zero power. So this would mean it, this would be one, right? And then power of two to the two would be two to the two power, right? So this would be four. And power of two to the four power would be, um, it would be 16, right? So two raised to the fourth, uh, raised to the fourth power. Um, so what we wanna do is, in order to solve this recursively, what we wanna do is we know that this is we can take our base and we can multiply it two, four times, right? So this is two times two times two times two. And this right here is two times two. So what we're basically doing is we're going to recurse. This is the number of times. The exponent is the number of times that we're gonna recurse. And every time we recurse, we're just gonna multiply uh, the base times itself um, one more time, right? So, um, so for example, um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a base case. Every time that you do something in recursion, you're going to need some type of base case. When are we going to stop recursing? So think of it like a while loop, right? In a while loop, you have to define some condition where your loop stops looping. And a recursion is just basically a fancy loop. So um, this is our base case. Our base case is going to be um, if our exponent is equal to zero, then we're gonna return one, all right? So that means that whatever we're doing, we're gonna to have to have some kind of logic where our exponent continuously decreases. Um, and when it gets to a point where it can no longer decrease because it's zero, that's where we're gonna start returning things from the stack. So every time we recurse, basically, we have this call stack, and every time we recurse, a new function call gets added to the call stack, right? So let's look at our logic of what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna return um, a base. So this is our base right here. So in this case right here would be two. And every time we're gonna multiply our base times um, our exponent, um, that we're gonna, we're gonna re recurse again, basically. So we're gonna call our, our function again and the next time that we call this function, we're going to pass in the base again, but we're gonna pass in an exponent that has decremented some, so by one. So let's look at this as what happens on the call stack. So on the call stack, what happens is we're going to have a function called power. So the very first time we call this, we're gonna have a function called power. And let's say that you know we have two to the four, so two to the four um, is gonna be called, it's gonna put on the call stack. And it's gonna ask, is our exponent zero? Well, no, it's not, it's four. So we're gonna go to this part where we're gonna to call base, so base is two times some function, power of two to the four, two to the three now, right? Because we're gonna decrement the exponent. So now this has not completed yet, nor has this. So they're sitting on the call stack waiting to be completed. So now we're going to call power again, so we're gonna recurse. And this time, um, our base is two and our exponent is three. So then we're gonna ask, is the base, have we met this base case? Is the exponent equal to zero? And no, we haven't. So then we're going to recurse again, where we're gonna take the base and we're gonna multiply it again times the power. And this time our base is two and our exponent is two because we are decrementing our exponent. So we're gonna keep on doing this, right? We're gonna recurse again. We're gonna ask if our exponent um, has met, met the base case. It hasn't, so we're gonna recurse again. So we're gonna do two times power of two to the one, right? And then one more time, because again, our exponent hasn't met the base case. And now we're gonna do two times power of two to the zero. So when we call the function this time, so this is the fourth time we call, right? So when we call a function this time, um, our exponent has reached this base case. So finally, we're gonna return something. We're gonna return one 
into this function call right here because once we call this you know this is never going to happen right here we're going to return we're going to do an early return we're going to look and we're going to say oh wait our exponent now is zero so we're going to return one so that means that we're going to replace this with one right so now we get two to the one right and this is equal to two and this value right here of two to the one is let me go back here this value right here, two, to the zero. So we're going to say now that this is two times uh, uh, power of zero, this right here, is one. So this is two to the one, which is equal to two, right? So now we have two, and now we can, um, this has been waiting to resolve. And it can't resolve until it gets the result back from this call right here. So this is going to be this right here. Like this is the result of two to the one, right? So now we have the value for power of two to the one, which you can know two raised to the first power is two. That's what this result is right here. So now we can say that we have two times two, which is equal to four. So this is the result of this right here, and this is still sitting on our call stack. So this, these two functions have been removed from our call stack, and now these two functions are sitting there waiting to resolve, these three functions, right? So we, now we have the answer to two raised to the two power, right? So now we're gonna say two times, the power of two to the two is this value right here. So now we have two times this value is four, and this is gonna equal to eight. So now eight, um, this is still waiting on the call stack. And now we have the value of power of two to the three. Power of two to the three is eight. So now we're gonna have two times eight, which is 16, right? Which is the value of two to the four, right? So that's how, that's how that works.